So snowdrops, um, they are a beautiful early sign of things to come that may be coming through on, in spring. Um, you see the lovely little white flowers popping up, sometimes amongst the snow or the hard frozen ground. What do we know about snowdrops? Snowdrops were thought to have originally been introduced to the UK. Uh, they're not actually originally native. Um, they thought possibly the Roman time, but actually it's more likely to have been around the 16th century. They're actually only native um, to big swathes of Europe, um, where you can find them from places like Albania, Spain, um, Germany, uh, where there are actually 20 different wild species. However, we have them here naturalised uh, in woodlands and churchyards, road verges and everywhere that you might want to see them. Snowdrops have actually become very popular for gardeners as well. Um, the cultivated varieties come in a huge amount of different types um, and people who are really keen on snowdrops are actually often referred to as galanthophiles after the Latin genus name uh, Galanthus. Um, and some bulbs have even fetched up to uh, 350 pounds just for a single species bulb. Snowdrops have some fascinating adaptations to enable them to survive and thrive in our very wintry conditions. Uh, some are found even as early as December or November poking up through snow. And that is because they have these specially hard tipped leaves that can push through the frozen ground. They also have uh, antifreeze proteins in their cells, which stops the ice crystals forming in big structures and allows them to almost relax and then come back up again after the really cold snap has passed. In their native countries um, in Europe, and possibly they do this in the UK too, they have an incredible way of reproducing. Um, the seeds that form in the drooping heads of the snowdrop once they dry up and drop out, actually have an amazing lipid rich protein and it's particularly attractive to ants. And so the ants will come along and they will take the seed into their underground nests where they will feed on the lipid rich extra bit and leave the rest of the seed in their nest where it will germinate and produce a new plant. Um, it's really fascinating. Most of the snowdrops in this country actually reproduce by just um, producing extra bulbs and then they get washed um, sort of off the surface soil and uh, develop elsewhere. You may be seeing uh, snowdrops popping up where around where you are now. Um, sometimes they can appear as early as November through December, um, whereas maybe about 50 to 100 years ago, they were waiting more like till February or March or April before they were first appearing. This could be a sign of climate change in action. So maybe the next time that you're out on a walk um, around this time of year, you can see some snowdrops, maybe poking out of the snow if you're lucky enough to have some. And their name actually means milk flower of the snow, the Galanthus nivalis. <laughs>